What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here. So in today's video, I have some great news. For those of you waiting for jailbreak on the 812, 813 and 814 devices for iOS 14. And boy, do I have great news in this video. A jailbreak has been achieved. Yes, they managed to jailbreak iOS 14, 14.2, 14.1 and so on, even on the 812 devices. So apparently the great news come from this security researcher, Pattern F, and they say, quote, iOS 14.0 iPhone 6s jailbreak demo. The MFIT bypass tech comes from this developer and Zekops and the repo is actually available here. It's actually nice, we're going to talk about this in a second. Working hard on the iPhone 11 demo, it seems that the PAC bypass is not necessary. And what they show in this video here is how they jailbreak basically the device and after that they are able to connect via SSH, so that's great. They also posted after that quote iOS 14.0 iPhone 11 A12 plus device and they comment here how some people said that this is fake because it doesn't install CD. Well, I'm gonna say it only once. You don't have to install Cydia to make a legit jailbreak and most security researchers don't because they don't build a real jailbreak. They just build the basics of a jailbreak. You know, everything up until the uh, tweaks part because that's the hardest part to do. Once you got that, you can install Cydia, you can install Cilio, it doesn't really matter. So what they demonstrated in here is basically jailbreaking their own device, which is an iPhone 11, basically an A13 device. And as you can see, their exploit worked and they do run as a Sage, which also works. So this proves the fact that they have a kernel exploit and they managed to exploit it pretty fine, that they did get the SSH running pretty fine. So this is actually incredible. They managed to get a jailbreak going and they might even release it compared to others. However, somebody asked them in here about the iOS 14.3 and even further, and they said, quote, it can make iOS 14.3 panic, which means that there is a bug in there, but Apple introduced some new exploit mitigations. I am studying on it. So basically, even even though this for the moment is only for iOS 14.0, 14.1 and 14.2, it may work on 14.3 as well, the bug is there, that's why the panic works, but the exploitation technique may need a little bit of adjustment because Apple changed some stuff. Though the vulnerability itself, the kernel exploit hasn't been patched, so it can be used on 14.3 with no problem. The security researcher would just need to find a different way to exploit it because the old one only applies to 14.2 and lower due to some Apple changes. We we also got a very important question from Foxford Mobile here. They asked, quote, do you intend to release it? And they said, quote, not now. This is a zero day, not fixed. I recommend Cool Start's Libhooker project. So this is important at first because this is a zero day. So it means that Apple doesn't know about it yet. It means that it hasn't been patched in the long list of security changes in iOS 14.4. So it means that it's still active, which also means that this has the potential to be working even on iOS 14.4, because if this gets patched, later, it will work basically on 14.4 as well. So that's why it doesn't get released right now, because it's a zero day, which means Apple hasn't patched it yet. Once they patch it, it's very likely that the security researcher will release it, as they said, not now in here. So they are planning to release it, but not now because, well, it's still hot. It's still a zero day. It still hasn't been patched. So we might get this in the future. We can definitely use that vulnerability to update Uncover or Odyssey or both of them if the Uncover developer pound to own decides to step back in the community. But Odyssey will very likely get updated if that vulnerability gets released and I'm pretty sure it will get released at some point. The videos are actually pretty sound. So many people ask me if this is fake. Well, no, they do seem pretty legit. Nothing in the video is wrong. Nothing in the video screams fake. And what they do here seems to be pretty real. They do connect via SSH. The connection seems to be on point. It seems to be okay. Nothing seems to be faked here. And the security researcher does have some credentials going on for them. Now, what this means, well, if you're running 14.2, 14.1, 14.0.1 .1, or 14.0 on any device, that's very good news for you. Stay there. A jailbreak has already been achieved. If we take what this developer has here and combine it with Odyssey or Uncover, well, you got yourself a jailbreak for the 14.1, 14.0.1 and even 14.2. For the rest of you on 14.3 and 14.4, the vulnerability works. It just needs to be exploited in a different way, which isn't exactly that bad of a thing. And since this is zero day, it means that it works on 14.4 as well. They just have to find a different way to exploit it, but it can still be used for Uncover or for Odyssey. It's just that it may take a little bit more time. Now, I expect this vulnerability to be released in the future when Apple finally patches it. It may be in iOS 14.5, 14.6, I don't know. It depends on when Apple decides to patch it. Probably 
soon since the demo is already available. So I assume they already sent it to Apple, but that would be pretty interesting. So we're going to see. They also mention in here that they are using Zekops's Amphit bypass, which is actually quite great because this was posted for 13.7 as part of their local privilege escalation exploit, but it's great to see it working even on iOS 14. So that's what they used in order to bypass Amphi in here. And they also mentioned that a PAC bypass was not necessary. So that actually is good because PAC tends to be a pain in the rear for the A12, A13 and A14 devices. So yeah, definitely very good news. A jailbreak was achieved, a vulnerability that works even on 14.4, that's still a zero day. So it's actually quite great and it will get released once it gets patched. So definitely stay as low as possible. And this is actually pretty good. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.